hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here i'm corey and i'm a very stationary freak and you know planners and journals so and of course fountain pens you you'll see that across in my channel but for today's video i'm gonna share with you my favorite go-to i'm just trying to stick to top 10 must-haves if you're just starting your planners or journals and I'm gonna share it with you by in no particular order what I have here that's been with me for so long already. Okay, so I was just having some space, white space here, so you can clearly see what I'm gonna show you. Um, let's start with the basics. So when I started my planners and journals way back 2015 i only started with gel pens i i'm a fan of gel pens before i knew um what you call that fountain pen so these were not bought last 2015 obviously but these are my go-to gel pens now if i just want to grab and you know um fast writing and yeah i love the Point four and point five. These are Energel Klena. Uh, I bought this first. These two colors. I had a yellow one. I cannot find. And this is the newest one. The the these colors. So I also have a, a box of refill for this because, like I said, if um, it's always on my desk, uh, I don't need to, you know, like run for my fountain pen. So these are all in black colors with uh, 0.04 and 0 0.05 um, thin thickness when i write because i it's a must to have this so if you're like me into gel pens that's a good brand it's um by the way it's a needle tip so you can see more of these pens with Helen of Coffee, the Coffee Monsters Co. Uh, she always uses this when she's journaling um, in her Hobonichi. They dry, dry so fast as well and no ghosting. It's a bit scratchy if you write like with much pressure, but this is a good starter pen for these Hobonichi Tomo River paper, very thin. And second on my gel pen category is this sarasa vintage series so i got all the colors i think minus the black <laughs> the, um these were from 2020 and up until now i haven't refilled them so as you can see the blue is more used up i guess i love the gray and this because i still don't have a fountain pen with this color i mean that perfects not so faded when I write but it's not black black so this is my favorite and also this mustard so if I go journaling outside my house or you know um, lazy <laughs> to use fountain pen these are always my go-to gel pens so that's for my gel pens and this the second um, Go to the favorite that I have or a must-have if you want to start in this journey is my Tombow Fudenusuke brush pen. So this is good when you do lettering. I'm not gonna do a demonstration demonstration now because I know you already are familiar with brush pen, but this is a Tombow Fudenusuke um basic, basic, easy to control when you're doing a uh, hand lettering in your planner like if you have if you want a bold heading this is always your go-to okay this is black in color and this is the blue one there's a green one um, but this is my favorite as we are only talking favorites I also have a bunch of gel pen um, brush pens here so the colored ones this is my sailors um, Shikiori and the latest only in my edition and my tombos as well sorry i have it here i have a lot of brush pen collection because i love color the colors when i i am when i was still 
new to planning and you know i i even have this um tombow dot zig pen tail brush pen so i have mild liners so this was my initial um madness collection and as i learned more i i like tombows colors there's so much you can choose and i've curated my my brush pen colors like they, these were so bright last time and i've just started you know toning down or doing the earth tones autumn colors or skin so these are bought individually or by three so i think this is the most popular one 992 so yeah um it keeps growing it doesn't fit anymore in one layer of this in drawer but brush pens tombow um these two are actually my favorite i'm choosing i'm grabbing more of my sailors recently because of the size it's a bit long and i'm gonna show you later my favorite pen case with this so yeah these are for the brush pens tombows and sailors i'm gonna do a separate video with these these two comparison um in the future so let's get it there for the brush pen also i um i think this still falls to the gel pen category so this is a white uniball signal broad in broad and i always write this on my black washi tape i like to use this as a header or you know date in my journal so um yeah it's a it's very good uh, it doesn't dry it up it's very long time with me already and i always use this as my header my yeah it's just a hard start but later on when the ink flows it's it's a good one this is the good brand i i was in the quest of looking for white um gel pen and this one is the pigment ink this one is the best i had a, a, other brands but yeah this is my go-to white gel pen moving on to obviously it's not a must but it's it's part of the basic for me are my washi tape so i have it here like for example this i will not show you all but this you can write intentionally or you can use this as a decor or a layering of washies but for example this i have a lot of other washies and pet tapes so for example this is a pet tape so it's not a must but it's good to have and when you also start collecting this <laughs> it's again another rabbit hole so i stopped or not stopped i slowed down in collecting these types and move on to pet tape so these are the basic to me because you can layer them with your pet tapes and stickers so that's washi and on to our fifth category or fourth i'm kind of lost are stamps so i have these stamps wooden stamps the alphabet stamps as well and the date stamps this is the newly acquired um, from the travelers company so i have not i have no uh i have not much collection of a wooden because i'm not a fan of wooden before i'm still learning to use it i have more of my acrylic stamps so these are my acrylic stamps okay let me know if you want to <laughs> see a haul or you know a flip of my collection for stamps but i got this from a friend it's all pre-loved um very few that i bought new because she moved on to another style of journaling i use that with my acrylic block so for stamps i don't have any particular brand i just get whatever i feel that it suits my interest like fountain pen inks and you know there were a lot more in my other desk in my journaling desk but yeah wooden stamps is also a thing of, that i'm trying to learn now um so that was the stamp of course with the stamp we need a stamp pad <laughs> so with that this is my favorite black versafine is your go-to guys if you 
Versafine Mag and Versa Magic if you are doing it in the Hobonichi papers or yeah, even in in Traveler's Notebook paper because this you drop this memento is a big big no <laughs> i had a few colored ones they are still working but hardly i can use them because these are for you know cardstock papers they are not for our hobonichi you will cry especially this this color <laughs> black you will really cry it will bleed through the paper so that's just a, a tip so this is my go-to um, it still goes by the way this black onyx from Versafine but if you don't you know um, put pressure much then it will the stamp will show so it's still good among all but these not the memento these Versa magic ones are very good with stamps in your journaling okay and after the stamp pads um, we'll go to the basic basic tapes my um, correction tape and my um, tape glue tape kukuyu one this is tombo mono correction tape and the kukuyu dot liner uh, tape yeah tape runner so this is um, it's always in my pen case because when there's images or ephemeris that I want to stick, this is a good one. I do use the glue stick before, but it dries. Um, you know, it crinkles the paper, and I'm not fan of that. And this one, obviously, when you are doing planning, this is a good brand and matches the Hobonichi uh, Weeks cream color. Weeks and Cassin, guys, and A6 Petro is different shades of Tomo River paper. So for Weeks, I believe it's the most cream colored one so after the tapes let's go to the clips so these two clips are from traveler's notebook and this is just a random pen go this is very hype now in the planner community but it's good it's very cheap and it it holds your traveler's notebook or your hobonichi weeks because it's wide I have not I have just discovered this last year and this one is recent so I I did not know that you can you know use a clip when you do the journaling um, I'm new to traveler's notebook it's I just use it this time so uh, I just su uh, suffered <laughs> without clipping it before so this is a good investment um, there are other like you know those binder clips you can also use but i hate it when it's it's just limited the opening and you know the, those black ones um it sometimes doesn't hold up my entire journal like flat this is brass made so it's it has weight on it so obviously it's it's much better and these are not cheap maybe cheap maybe 20 dollars each so i die maybe if i lose this <laughs> not that i cannot buy again but they are very hard also to get from where i am this one i'm i was just testing this because it's everywhere now and i got the brown one i'm thinking of getting the red the white because it's really cheap and it's very useful guys so those are for the the favorite clips or it's a must have that you have a clip if you're into traveler's notebook hobonichi they like they lay flat so you don't have to worry now on to the main i think this is the most expensive in my let's go let's level up and this is my expensive um investment when i started journaling uh, not to mention the fountain pens but this is my photo printer the canon ivy so i really really like this um i've seen this in Ina christina's video when i was starting out um going back to journaling when i had those ring binders before i didn't use this i had the canon selfie now this is the canon ivy which is a handy a portable one zinc paper so you can just fill it when it's finished you don't need any ink let me know if you want me to show how i print my pictures when i journal and i always put it in this case with the 
charging cable connect to the laptop and this is the paper extra uh, pad so this is the one that you know like cleans up before you start printing like this is the ink i don't know how to explain the zinc paper but yeah you don't need any ink on this so um normally to save because it's not cheap the paper uh, i use uh, coll i collage my pictures first into small small size and print them in one so this is just bluetooth straight to the phone and you can get uh, maybe i will do a video on this and how to print journals because i'm using my phone now so i cannot do a demo maybe when i have my proper camera then i can do and show you how i print my pictures and and um i think we've covered all the basics or yeah there is two more basics or yeah three that even without the others you can survive <laughs> you need to have this the scissors the the cutter the pencil cutter and the ruler so you don't need to buy the tools to live by brand but you need to have a scissors i had the muji one and my daughter borrowed it but this is my favorite now the three centimeter tools to live by they have a bigger one but this is very handy and very when you cut a pet tape it doesn't stick out this is made of brass so this is again an investment the most expensive scissors i have in my entire life i guess <laughs> and the ruler this is just a random i got in our in a local store it has a circular templates on it so it's good when i do my planning in hobomichi it's it's uh two in one oh there's also like the, this uh curl uh, what do you call this edge and the straight one 18 inches so it's very cheap and i i like this ruler and this is a cutter for my PET tape. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's sharp, like um, an injection. So I had a cutting mat and then I will just stick the PET tape there in one roll and then start cutting it with this. I used to use the proper cutter, but this is more easy and you know, you're just like drawing them. <laughs> so yeah, just like in school, these are basic must-haves scissors rulers and a cutter okay and now i also have these two this one is my oldest muji mechanical pencil and i don't even know i'm sure it's just 0.4 or 0.5 it's thin i like sketching with this and my tombo retractable eraser so these two with those scissors are also the basic basic must-haves when you do the planning i don't directly you know ruler um line them with my pens i have to have a pencil <laughs> when or when i sketch so these two um are always in my pencil case speaking of pencil case these are my honorable mentioned <laughs> pencil cases and pouch that are i have a lot guys i have i have this for my art art kit which is i will do in another video it's a kipling pouch i got this way back 2015 when those kiki k moments <laughs> i have this um muji again transparent for my brush pen um brush paint brush and this um superior labor this is again i had a stamp here i, I store my stamps here this is again one of my most expensive investment and I was a bit shocked it's too small <laughs> I didn't expect so if I'm thinking of getting the the next size or the the bag saving up for it but yeah hopefully so overall these two are my go-to um, pen case this one is inspired by Abby C she has this and I searched for it and I got it in through Amazon Japan and this is where my brush need now and i'm putting those pencils here this is my go-to pencil case so they live here actually these basic um necessity <laughs> basic essentials this is the word so they live here if i don't really need to bring this one out but this scissor lives here and the ruler so this is my go-to pen pencil case or pouch or whatever it also has some um 
compartments here and here i have a tweezer i have another cutter so this is uh, i always bring if i am going out journaling okay and this one i had this for specifically for my thumbos they won't fit in any of my journals uh, i mean sorry pen case so i do it like this you can also pull them up and if you by force close it you can but normally i don't so it's just like that i don't force it because i put a lot but yeah this delde uh corduroy with the olive pen uh, model i got to my thumbos so i think yeah i think this is it guys for my um top is it 10 <laughs> or with the honorable mentions yeah 12 max favorite go-to must have stationaries in my stash so uh, i've had this for quite some time now and i'm just sharing with you if you are interested in uh, planners and journaling and you know um sharing with you what i learned along the way that uh like for washi eventually i had this i'm just showing you <laughs> all this it's not a range sorry guys i was journaling before filming and i i changed to pet tapes so even stamps i have this now because it's much more convenient so it's evolving i had also these stencils which I no longer use so the lesson the take away lesson here is that we don't need to get what everybody is getting first we need to research and you know if we really need that obviously we are stationary lovers sometimes we don't need it I also have this sticker books I have a lot of sticker books um, the aquitarian the, the antiquarian the botanist so I've had so much now they're just dusting dusty in my desk so but I love collecting them they make me happy so it's it's just that um, through the years what I learned is uh, as we age maybe our journaling style will um, change so before investing um, think in five years will you still be using them will you still be needing them my pencils and my gel pens i can just buy a refill so it's good if i have all the colors so what you know but yeah like like fountain pens we keep buying but if you're collecting them just for storing then it's fine because you have the so resources but if you don't have a space like me i'm cutting it slow this year so yeah i'm just curating like brush pens i used to buy tombos a lot now i just choose and yeah what is what is my need for for this kind of brush pen so i guess that's it and i hope you learned something from this video and yeah i'm gonna show you next time how the comparison of my brush pens so i hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel and ring that bell and I'll see you on my next one. Don't forget to like. Bye.